cells. How do they work? Recently I made a video about how to prepare a plant cell slide. If you'd like to see that video, please click here. And if you want to see the video I made on onion slides, click here. If you would like to see a video I made on eukaryotic cells a while back, please click here. The links to all of these videos are also found in the video description. So today I'm going to talk about how some of the organelles in a plant cell work together to make a cell that functions. Here is a diagram of what a plant cell looks like. As you can see, there are many small pieces that make up the cell. These are called the cell's organelles. Just like we have organs that help us function, cells themselves also have smaller organs that work together to make the cell work. In a plant cell, there are the following organelles. Note that not all of these are found in all plant cells, and that different plants have different organelles. Cell membrane, cell wall, chloroplasts, cytoplasm, cytoskeleton, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, mitochondria, nucleus, peroxisomes, plasmodestema, ribosomes, and vacuoles. Now to explain some of the organelles within a cell, starting with the cell membrane. This membrane is a semi-permeable membrane that surrounds all of the organelles within a plant cell. It acts like the outside of a water balloon does, as it keeps the contents of the cell in a bubble, and hopefully it doesn't pop. It protects the other organelles within the cell and keeps harmful substances out. Since the membrane is semi-permeable, it means that certain molecules can pass through it. This is how the cells receive nutrients and minerals. The membrane itself is made up of layers of proteins and phospholipids. These come together to form a lipid bilayer. They join together and face the heads outwards and the tails inwards. This is because the tails are the hydrophobic ends and are repelled by water, while the heads are hydrophilic and attracted to water. This structure allows for the molecules to pass into the cell. Next up, there is the cell wall. The cell wall is found just outside the cell membrane, and it helps keep the shape and structure of the cell. Like the cell membrane, the cell wall can choose what it lets into the cell, so it also defends the cell against harmful substances. The cell wall is made up of three different sections, the middle lamella, the primary cell wall, and the secondary cell wall. The middle lamella is the outer wall, and it contains pectins that help stick the cell to other cells. The primary cell wall is made up of cellulose microfibers in a gel-like matrix of fibers and pectin. This layer provides the strength and flexibility of the wall. The final layer, the secondary cell wall, is between the cell membrane and the primary cell wall. This is formed when the primary cell wall finishes growing and dividing. It then becomes rigid and supports the cells. Chloroplasts are where the photosynthesis occurs within cells. The chloroplasts contain chlorophyll, which absorbs light from the sun to produce energy. Cells with chloroplasts are typically found on the leaves of plants, as they act to catch energy from the sun. The cytoplasm is a gel-like substance within the cell membrane. It is what all of the organelles float around in. It is mostly made up of water, but also contains enzymes, salts, and organic molecules. The cytoskeleton is a fibrous network that helps support the cell from within the cytoplasm. One type of fiber it contains are called microtubules. Microtubules are hollow rods, think straws, that support the cell and are used as paths for the movement of organelles. Ribosomes contain RNA and proteins, and they act to assemble proteins for the cell. The endoplasmic reticulum plays a massive role in producing, processing, and transporting proteins and lipids within a cell. There are two different kinds of endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth ER and the rough ER. The rough ER is dubbed that because it has ribosomes attached to it, where the smooth does not. The Golgi apparatus works to ship and manufacture molecules around the cell. It sends, forms, and receives transport vesicles and helps distribute molecules around the cell. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouses of the cell. They convert sugars into energy, or ATP. This the cell can then use to function and power the other organelles. The nucleus contains the genetic information for the cell. It helps control the cell and stores the vital information for the cell. It is often called the command center and is one of the most important organelles. It is surrounded by a membrane called the nuclear membrane, which helps keep the organelle together. In its center is the nucleolus, which contains RNA and proteins. Peroxisomes are microbodies, and microbodies are membrane-bound organelles that contain enzymes. Peroxisomes detoxify cells and use oxygen to break down certain fats. 
The plasmodestema are channels between plant cell walls that allow different cells to communicate with each other. Vacuoles are structures that support the cell and perform a variety of other functions within a cell. These include storage, detoxification, and protection. When plant cells mature, they typically contain a single, large vacuole. As you can see, plant cells are incredibly complex things that have hundreds of little intricate pieces that work together to create a functioning system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.